let's transition over and take a look. So the first band is going to be out of uh, Indiana. They will be banning first. And they will be on blue. And they ban the Nautilus. That's a ban against uh, our wonderful support, KG, also team captain. For both the gold and the blue teams. End of the line. And there's a Graves ban. That is a jungle ban on the Warriors. Oriana ban. That's a that's a mid lane pick usually. So that's a ban against uh, Blackwing. And the Senna ban. Senna ADC. Senna support. Senna pretty much anywhere. Just gonna ban it. Jinx ban coming out from the Warriors there, locking out an ADC pick for Scrawl. Hey, never pick a fight you can't win. And of course, the set ban. Uh, there are no disabled champions this um, this uh, season, this week. There were disabled champions last week, but everybody's available this week, so uh, we'll see a lot more of those bans because a lot of those champions were actually really OP. Uh, Kali Pick coming out from Indiana Tech Warriors is a little surprising to me. Uh, she just got nerfed again, but it's, from what I understand, it's a lot more of a, this is only going to affect people that aren't skilled with her. So let's see how Indiana does. First pick coming up from Murray State University, Fizzeria. He's hovering the Vladimir. He takes it. Not going to go for the Orn pick right now. He wants that Vlad, he can he can basically hide in the lane. And there's Leona's support pick. Does that mean that we will be seeing Misfortune ADC? That Misfortune Leona combo is very popular right now. The pros are playing it quite a lot. So we'll see if if that's the way Murray State wants to go. Next pick coming up from Indiana. They go with a Thresh. That's gonna be their support pick. Uh, who will be the ADC that combos with that? Could be a Caitlyn, could be, it's not Jinx, obviously. Maybe a Lucian. Lucian Thresh works pretty well. Ezreal, hmm. And there's Kane. Kane in the jungle. This is something I'm excited to see in the college play. I do enjoy some Kane action, and uh, college play is a lot more exciting to me than pro uh, because they just get in there and they fight. It's a lot like watching bronze. <laughs> but they're not bronze, they are all very good players. Next pick from Murray State University is going to be. He's hovering the Vane. Vane has been picked. And Pizzeria's next. The next band from Murray State onto Indiana. Who are they going to remove from the pool? Let's see. They're going to need to ban ADCs and top laners. The only other problem is Akali is a flex pick. She could be mid, she could be top. Aphilios. That's a pretty reasonable ban. He did get a nerf recently that lowers his um, visibility, attack range type deal, uh, much lower. So he can't basically hit from across Come the map. Olaf ban. I They're rocking that out of the jungle. That is that is a pretty reasonable ban. Olaf is very strong in the jungle right now. Um, Easy Fox, I'm not 100% sure how good he is on Olaf, but if they're banning it, he's probably pretty good at it. And the Mordekaiser ban coming out from Murray State University. That's a top lane ban. That's a mid lane ban. That's another flex ban. And a very reasonable ban at that. Mordekaiser is, is pretty strong right now. And if you don't take care of him, he's kind of, he trying to get annoyed. Sejuani ban. So they definitely are locking out Easy Fox from some of his picks. I watched him play Sejuani not just a few minutes ago while they were warming up for today. So I could see him going... Yeah, obviously I would say go Warwick because that's my one trick. So, <laughs> and Warwick's easy to play. Could go Echo. Uh, Echo's free. Could go Master Yi though. Goes for the Jarvan. Also a very good uh, CC champ. He can kind of keep people busy, jump around on that sphere. Kaisa coming out as the ADC for Indiana, and final pick for Indiana will be 
Are they going with Corky? Are we gonna see Corky? No. They're gonna take the Orn, it looks like. Murray State gave it up. I'm really surprised they did. But there's Orn more than likely in the top lane. Orn can also play mid, but not very often. Last pick coming out from Murray State University. Who are they gonna go with? Again, thank you everybody for tuning in. Welcome to today's show. And there's a Lissandra pick. That's going to go in the mid lane. They're going to do their little swippity swappities here for the folks in their lane. So it's going to be really? Yeah, that's what I thought. Really? It's going to be one more swap coming in from Indiana. Thresh is not going top. There we go. Orn versus Vlad, Kane versus Jarvan, Akali versus Lissandra, Kaisa versus Vayne, and Thresh versus Leona. That is actually a really good bot combo, the Thresh and Kaisa, because Thresh can kind of get the CC in, and then Kaisa can just shoot all of her rockets. <laughs> uh, but I am curious to see how Vayne does, how Scraw does with Vayne, uh, with all that true damage that she has available to her. Uh, the, as the game moves on and moves on, it's really hard. Unless they completely lock her down and don't let Scraw get a lead on her, Vayne can pretty much win games for your team without any help. <laughs> just got to get fed first so we are getting ready to go into this game i will turn on the tunes for a little bit longer while we wait for the spectator delay to wrap up stay tuned everyone
All right, and you guys can't see everything, which kind of stinks. So let me fix that real quick. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Bloop, bloop, bloop. <clears throat> I didn't hit transition. Bloop, bloop, bloop. That's the noise my brain makes when I mess up. Bloop, bloop, bloop. There we go. Now, let's check out this skin game. Thunderlord Orn, Odyssey Kane. I haven't seen that guy in a while. Infernal, Akali, KDA, Kaisa, Prestige Editions, and SSW Thresh. Murray State is going with Soul Stealer Vladimir, Warring Kingdoms Jarvan, Blade Queen Lissandra, very, very favorite pick there for uh, Blackwing. Uh, I'm going to give it to Indiana, to be perfectly honest. Let's get this scorecard up. Let's turn off these time controls. Let's bring up the objective timers. Let's shrink that back down. Pan over. Enable. And we are in match one of Murray State University versus Indiana Tech. Indiana Tech is in the blue. Murray State University is in the red. Lots of pings going out. Probably warning about possible incoming invades. That is something I sort of expect to see out of uh, Indiana is quite possibly an invade. And then I got to adjust this once again. Seconds until you know what? Let's leave it alone. Just not going to hit transition. <laughs> all right. Pizzeria's position here watching his. It looks like they're going for a protect all invasion points strategy right now. I do apologize. My overlay is a little off skew, but that's okay. It's not bad enough that you guys can't enjoy the game. So let's enjoy the game, and I will fight with it in the intermission. No one going for an early invade here. Both teams are going to play it a little, a very defensive, slow game here at the start. Um, caution, you know, is probably the best attitude to take in your, in your first match. Uh, you just kind of want to feel out the teams and see how things sort of develop. Standard Leash coming in here from Murray State University on their blue. Indiana decided to go their blue instead of the standard red. And we've already got a little bit of action going on in the mid lane. A little poke going on against Akali and Lissandra. We'll see how that develops as this game goes on. Early poke in the mid lane, of course, as per usual. They're really trying to put the damage on the Lona. Um, Mainly because she can't do anything back right now. She doesn't have a lot of damage. I mean, she could kind of do some CC, but at level 1, there's not a lot of Leona can do other than just take a lot of damage because she has quite a bit of an HP pool. No crazy item builds. Kane went with the AoE jungle starter item versus Jarvan with just the, I believe it's the machete. Yeah, Hunter's machete. Uh, the Hunter's talisman gives you a little bit of health bonus and regeneration. Oh, and a big dive in already from the Indiana bot lane coming in on Murray State under tower. Uh, I believe Thresh took a tower hit there. and They got a little bit of damage down on Murray State players, but not enough to really cause any trouble yet. Still really early in the match. Not a lot of craziness going on yet. Now, Akali used to be able to use that shroud to keep themselves quite hidden and push tower basically at level one uh, but the, due to the changes in shrouds abilities that is no longer the case but a dive in on leona they're going to put a lot of heavy damage down on the kaisa early vein gets knocked back by thrust a little bit and they are going to back up uh, here comes an early dive in from the jungle lane from murray state university on akali but akali able to uh, get in the shroud and she's going in hard on the jarvan jarvan is going to retaliate but he is going to go down first blood Going to Indiana. Great play by Akali. I believe she did have to expend her... Yeah, she popped both Flash and Ignite. So as long as Murray State keeps track of that, they'll be good. And Indiana going in hard here on the Vladimir Orn fight. Vlad can actually just back up if he wants to. Akali going in on Lissandra a little bit more. Going to have to play a little careful there. And a lot of early aggression coming out from Indiana now. Uh, they do kind of have a, a comp that complements that. Murray State with the Vladimir and uh, 
the Vane Leona, they are going to want to play a little bit more passively at first until they get some, some items built up and a little bit of a, you know, CS lead of some kind or another. They'll just do a little poke here and there uh, just to make sure everything is hunky-dory. And there's another dive in, but nothing really coming with Oh, the hook on Leona as uh, she goes in and just focuses on the Kai'Sa. And Vayne is going in here. She's going to hopefully, yeah, get the kill on Horizon. Way to go, Scrum. And they're going to focus on the Thresh now. He's got nowhere to go, nothing to do. He's going to try to get that Vayne. There's the flash from the Thresh. And he is going to quite possibly, no, there comes the Jarvan. And Easy Fox is able to clean up the bot lane for Murray State University. That is a great turnaround. And now they have control over the, they have uh, you know, control in the bot lane. Uh, the jungler is over in the top lane. They could be advancing a little bit more, getting a little more vision on Dragon, making that objective uh, theirs. But they are going to go back, do a buy, get some items, get a little bit stronger for the next attack. It is still really early. We're only five minutes into this match. Marie stayed up two to one with about a hundred gold lead. Nothing really amazing to write home about. Lissandra's pinging that uh, Akali is missing. And just kind of warning people to play safe there. When you when your laner is not there, you need to let all the other laners know as well as the jungler, uh, because they could be off doing who knows what, taking objectives, getting ready to gank a lane. So good pings coming out. Now you can see right here, Vlad is is backing up. There's he has no reason to push at this point. His wave is 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 behind him. He's trying to do a little bit of a, a freeze there, keep it in the middle. Uh, he probably won't get a lot of ganks from Jarvan early. Uh, the ganks will probably be focused on bot and mid. And if you notice, Indiana is going for the first dragon, I believe. Well, Kane is coming down. It looks like there's going to be a gank attempt on bot lane, but Jarvan is there to help back that up. Mid laners have both hit level 6, which means OPs are going to start coming out soon. I'm really, I really hope we transfer over to this bot lane. Yeah, here we go. So Thresh is going in. It looks like they wanted to start the uh, the gank. They get the hook on Leona. The Kane looked like he was going in, but I think Jarvan interrupted that action, and Murray State is going to start putting, getting the hurt put down. They got a teleport from the Orn, and that's going to be KG down. There are four bot lane against this, in, this Murray State team. Indiana is putting in a lot. Jarvan takes out the Orn. They're going to try to go for a few more. The Thresh is low. Oh, they catch out the Kane, and that is a double kill for Murray State University. Akali is here now, and it's four from Murray State down there against three from uh, from Indiana at this point. <laughs> Quite a major uh, investment from both teams into the bot lane at this point. And now Murray State's going to rotate over to take that first dragon because there are still – they just respawn the top lane in the jungle for Indiana, and so they are down some of their major players to be able to smite this. Akali's going to come in, but I think, uh, yeah, Lissandra's going to have something to say about that. Murray State takes the first dragon. That is a Ocean Drake, which gives you 2.5% health regeneration for every five seconds. And good job, Murray State, there, taking that first objective. They're going to rotate back in the lane here, clean up some vision. That's really important. Uh, it's something that I know Murray State's been working on a lot more is one, upgrading their own vision game, and two, learning how to effectively clean up the enemy vision game. They do a great job. They're just doing better and better each time. So Indiana's going to pull back a little bit, hopefully let the wave come into them. They want to fight under their tower a little bit. Um, and it kind of looks like Vayne is happy to oblige. Scraz is not afraid to, to shoot some arrows at people. Uh, it looks like Orin going in a little bit on Vlad, but nothing that the directed camera wants us to see right now, so we won't worry about that. <laughs> Everyone pretty much back to farm, Farmville. Getting the CS lead. You'll notice uh, Vlad has the lead over Orin. Jarvan is way below Kane. Kane has quite the, the, uh, the CS lead on him at this point. Uh, both are level 6, though, thanks to ganks. Here we go, a little bit of action in the top lane. Orin is looking for a fight. Vladimir says, nah, I'm good. I'm just going to stay back here. It's much safer for me. All right, here we go, Leona diving in on the ADC of Indiana. Jarvan's there too. There's that ult from Jarvan we expected. They're going to get the Thresh. That was uh, the, the Jarvan ult both burnt to get the Thresh. Did they get any other summoner spells? It looks like Kaisa burnt her heal. And now we've got Vlad keeping Orn at bay in the top lane. 
Uh, Murray State, again, has pressure in the bot lane now. Hopefully they are cleaning up the mini wave and getting it pushed into that tower. Uh, I see the Jarvan went ahead and backed. There wasn't another wave of blue minions to clean out for Murray State University, so he really didn't need to stay. Had there been a wave, he would have cleaned that up and helped them out and then kept moving that, uh, that uh, power that Murray State's got in the bot lane forward. So as you can see, Murray State bot lane right under the Indiana Tech Tower. They are willing to fight that. They're going to back up a little bit. Horn and Vlad are going to play the poke game a little bit longer. Two to five. Murray State lead. And there is a thresh hook. They were expecting it. Vayne is going to stay right outside of that little uh, corral that Thresh makes. If they get that, somebody just got the Rift Herald. But it looks like it's going to cost him. Yes, Kane got the Rift Herald, but it did cost him his life. Uh, so they are down two people again. Murray State up in kills. Seven kills to two at this point. And uh, do, 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 do. we will stay with this. Vlad is really low, but that's kind of how Vlad plays. He's going to build up that little energy bar, and that's just going to give him health back with his abilities. They're trying to put the hurt down on the Akali in the mid lane, but it looks like she is just going to stay in her tower. Now, Jarvan is invading the enemy jungle. I don't think he knows that Kane and Thresh are there. And they are going to start this fight, and Jarvan is going to have to back up a little bit. Here comes Akali. Here comes Lissandra. Lissandra throws out the teleport just as a positioning tool to kind of get them out of the way, and that's exactly what they did. They backed off. Great play from the Lissandra in the mid lane, and great from the Jarvan to get out of there without uh, losing any of the lead that Murray State's built at this point. Now, Indiana, right now, what they're probably looking to do is get a little bit of a reset going on, get their lanes kind of fed back up, make sure the level disparity isn't too bad. It doesn't look like it is right now. Everybody's pretty well even uh, in levels. And Murray State's plan is to just not get those those bounties taken and control, keep getting a, a bigger CS lead. More CS means more gold, means more items, means better objective taken. I do still wonder when Kane is going to drop that um, that Rift Herald. He has the first one. He can hold it for quite a bit, and he may try to save it until uh, tower shields are gone, tower plates are gone, uh, in hopes that they can get as many down as possible and then use that. And Freeze actually took down the Orn in the top lane. Way to go for Pizzeria. And now Jarvan is going to help push. As I said earlier, you always want to, if you're the jungler and you're coming to help gank, stay, help take a minion a, a minion wave. It's not that big a deal. You don't have to kill them. Just get them down to last hit so the, the laner can actually clean those up a lot quicker. And then you can push minion plates and get a lot of gold for both people. Here comes a teleport in. I'm not sure if that's a wise idea for the Orn. The Jarvan and the Vlad are still there, but they're going to go ahead and back off. Uh, it looks like Indiana is trying to get their vision vision coordinated to make sure that they do not lose the second dragon. Murray State is obviously not going to start it uh, this early. The positioning for the Jarvan is, is not good for this dragon take. Um, basically, it's going to be a war of the wards at this point. They're going to control this vision. Jarvan rotating into the mid lane while uh, Lissandra went to back. The Akali is going to back now. Um, Knowing that, that means they're going to have lane power in the mid lane when Lissandra gets back. Jarvan and Leona can start that dragon because no one's in mid lane. They know Akali went back, so she's going to have to walk up. They don't know where the Kane is, but they're not too worried about that. They know where the bot lane is, and they know where Orn is. So Murray State probably could have stole that dragon, but they decided to go ahead and play it safe. They're probably going to wait for a gank. Get a kill and then uh, then take the objective. That's a safer play. I always go for the the guarantees versus the maybes. So. And here's a little bit of action coming in from Warren. He's going to go in and put some of his abilities on Vladimir, but that cloud that he has just kind of gets him out of everything. <laughs> and there's the announcement about ferret plating, which means I suspect we'll see the cane. There it is. Drop that uh, that jelly, and that was the. Uh, that was what led Murray State to go ahead and take that second dragon. So now they have a 
mountain dragon and an ocean dragon. So they've got 6% armor to magic resistance, plus a little bit more uh, heal per 5 or HP 5. Uh, and really, that Rift Herald accomplished very little. Um, and now the turret plating has fallen. They did lower the Vlad tower a little bit, the top lane tower a little bit, but they didn't take it. Vlad was able to kill the Rift Herald. They're pinging, hey, 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 I'm here. Kane is, is really caught out in the Murray State jungle. Here comes Akali to maybe help out. There's the Kane ulti. They dash out of it. Oh, well, the Jarvan and Lissandra are just getting tore up. Lissandra had to pop her ulti to get her safely away without losing. And here comes the Vlad to help. And there's another lockdown with the Jarvan. Akali is going to try to dodge out of it, but she is probably in a bad spot. Yep. And Murray State gets another kill on the mid laner, taking them up to 10 to 2, 14 minutes in. And their gold lead is now getting quite big. It's about a 3,000 gold lead at this point. So that's a full build item on one person. But as you know, it's 3,000 gold across all people. <laughs> Turn this back up. Sorry, I didn't notice it was on. Vlad going to be putting a lot more pressure on this top lane now. He is a level ahead of Orin. He can really start kind of putting the hurt on this guy. His build is looking quite good. He has 76 stacks, 77 stacks on his Spellbinder. Um, and that'll just keep going as he goes out. Orin getting a knockup on him, though. He's going to take a couple of tower hits, but it's really not that much damage right now. And I don't, and it's just going to be less and less the longer the game goes on. So he's going to keep bullying that Orn, which is going to give Jarvan an easy kill. Oh, we got a, quite a fight in the bot lane as Leona gets uh, slowed. But as you can see from that Vayne true damage that I was talking about earlier, she just melts people if you let her get ahead at all, if you let her get items. And that is what's happening here. Scraw is going to start popping off, and it's going to be hard. They're not even going to take tower yet. Oh, it looked like they really wanted that. And there's another Vayne attack. And there's the drop down. They get the Kai'Sa. So they're going to go ahead and melt this mini wave as they start hitting the tower. Here comes Akali to try to come help out. They knock her back. Leona is going to stun her. And there's the Lissandra coming in from behind to stop the Akali as well. And it looks like Jarvan took the second Rift Herald. Blackwing has taken out Akali, and that's going to give them the bot tower. So they're going to push that forward. Kane lets himself be known, so they're going to back up there. And Murray State is going to reset after taking the tower. They might, I would say they'd swap, but I don't think they're going to need to. Jarvan putting down that Rift Herald in the mid lane. There's no Akali there right now. Kane is going to just farm, and Thresh is going to rotate in hopes of maybe stopping that. And that's another tower. Three towers taken by Murray State University at this point. This game is moving at breakneck speed compared to the LCS and the LEC and the LKL. I don't know the Korean one off the top of my head. <laughs> But if you have been watching pro play, pro play lately, you will know that the pros are playing a league at a much slower, cautious pace than what you're seeing today in the Collegiate League of Legends series hosted by Riot Games. We thank you guys for tuning in, and we are back into some more action here. As Indiana Tech is down quite a bit, they are down 11 kills, 2 dragons, and have already lost 3 towers. I'm not sure what their plan is to come back from this. I don't feel like their late scaling is where it is. Leona getting a nice slow on the Kane. Kane pops his ulti, but it's going to do near zero damage. And there's her ulti again, another stun. And Vayne is just going to melt him. They are going to have to stop the Vayne. They are going to have to build specifically to stop her. And I just don't think they're going to be able to do that. And there's another dive coming in from the Vlad. He gets the, uh, the Kai'Sa down, and she is dropped. Lissandra putting in some damage on the Kali. There's the jump in from Jarvan ulti. She's low. There's a Thresh Lantern to get her out at the last possible second. Great move by the Thresh from Indiana. These Warriors are not done fighting. So Orin's got to go up 2-1 to one here. He's really trying to hold him down. He gets a little bit of a slow on the vein, but it's, it's not going to do too much. She is able to just poke that turret all day long from a distance. If she starts hitting him, though, uh, he is in for a world of pain. But he is just not really going to let her. Unless Leona gets some CC off, which is possible. Lissandra well, pushing that mid lane there, about to, to take it to around half health. Murray State's going to rotate because I do believe a dragon is up soon. Yeah, 10 seconds until another dragon is up. They also have to be aware of Baron being up in a minute 30. So those two major objectives are coming up on the map. And the teams that get those really need them. Both teams really need to control these objectives. 
anything can happen if you give up a baron or you give up a couple of dragons you have to be really careful the dragons at murray state have gotten to this point are beneficial but are not the most important thresh doing a little vision scouting with that lantern i do believe um, murray state positioning to get ready to start this dragon they get a hook on uh on the vein, and they're going to put some damage down on her. That's exactly what they needed to do. Vlad is going to stay in the top lane. He is going to be split pushing and trying to keep that orn busy so that he can't shoot an ulti down there during the dragon fight. Um, he is he is completely boxed out of this. And it looks like Murray State is going to pull this dragon out and maybe back up and hopefully let the dragon do some damage. There's a dive from the Draven on the Kane to try to keep him from getting this thing. Kane ulti coming in on the Draven. Not a lot of damage done. Kane is going to get out with the Thresh, but they're going to put some damage down on that Dragon. Oh no, the Dragon is reset, but Murray State puts some damage in and gets it. The dive coming in from the, the Vladimir, uh, taking a lot of damage, but does not die. They get the Akali. It looks like Draven is going to take out Kaisa again. He is going in hard. He's going to throw that Spear. He's going to knock her up, and there it is. Easy Fox taking out Kaisa. And it looks like the Thresh has had a disconnect, as well as the Kane. I'm not exactly sure what's happened. And I believe... Indiana forfeits the they they surrendered the first round, so that is one to nothing in favor of Murray State University. And from the <laughs>